Criticism grows of two former policemen who claimed legal pornographic images were found on the computer of Damien Green. The Cabinet Minister has always strongly denied the allegations. A former Chief Constable suggests it was wrong that details were leaked. Hello, you're watching Breakfast with Christian Fraser and Nagat Manchetti. One person is stabbed to death and four others injured in a suspected terrorist attack in Paris. So-called Islamic State says it was responsible. The assailants were shot dead by police. Good morning, it's Sunday the 13th of May. Also on the programme, hundreds of thousands of pounds in damages for EU nationals sleeping rough in the UK after they were illegally detained and deported by the government. It's official. Less than a week to go to the big day, Buckingham Palace releases pictures of the Queen's formal consent to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's marriage. You're watching a BBC News special, US Election Day 2018 from Washington. I'm Cathy Kay. And I'm Christian Fraser. The first polls have closed here in the US midterm elections with control of both the Senate and the House of Representatives, the big prize. We have correspondents spread out across the United States watching the results in Florida, New Jersey, Pennsylvania and Arizona. The stakes are enormous. Both the lower House of Representatives and the upper House, the US Senate, are up for grabs at the moment. Republicans control both of those and the White House. Will Democrats now be able to seize back some power or will Republicans increase their majorities in Congress? The answer will have a big impact on President Trump. He isn't on the ballot, but you wouldn't know it by his campaign schedule these past few days. You're watching Beyond 100 Days. The British Prime Minister admits she is not entirely happy with the Brexit plan to avoid a hard border in Ireland. The opposition leader, Jeremy Corbyn, tells her the decision to plough on with her deal is an act of national self-harm. But plough on she will. Theresa May says she'll take her deal to the country, insisting it is the best and only deal on offer. Rob Watson is with me. Goodness me, this was a mauling. If I'd been a referee, I'd have stepped in to stop the fight. You would have done. You'd have said, right, she's down on the canvas. She's going to plug on. Uh, she's going to talk about the practicalities of the deal, what we leave what people voted for rather than the legal nitty-gritty. She's asking for a televised debate with Jeremy Corbyn. It's starting to feel a little bit like a mini general election campaign. The only Except problem no I, vote. <laughs> well, but the problem I see with that is that last time it didn't go very well. Uh, no, absolutely. While the Prime Minister is amazingly kind of dogged and an awful lot of people feel sorry for her, they tend to feel sorry for her until she opens her mouth. 